and welcome to Some Dude Eat Some Food, Trader Joe's Pumpkin Foods Part 2. So, there's still a lot of, <laughs> there's still, there's still a lot of food here to try, so uh, let's start out with this. Trader Joe's Pumpkin Rolls. So, from the looks of it, they're like cinnamon rolls, but pumpkin flavor. Sounds pretty good to me. Yes, this looks good. Mm, they're so big too. The roll is nice and flaky, I can already feel it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice buttery flaky roll with a sweet pumpkin dicing. Mm. Next up we have Cherry Joe's Apricot Cherry Cranberry Goat's Milk Cheese. Now some of you may be thinking, Goat's milk. Ew. Maybe so you don't like it, but Stephanie and I actually really like goat cheese. So we're going to try this with pumpkin cranberry crisps. They sell a similar cranberry crisp like this, but this is pumpkin flavor. I think this will go well with the goat cheese. Mmm, look at that. You can see there's a lot of apricot and cherries and cranberries on this. Looks good. Yeah, I love this. This is really good. So from what I can tell, it's uh, goat cheese with cranberries inside it, and the cherries and apricots wrapped around it. And the flavors together are just really good. Um, let me try one of these by itself. They're pretty good. It's got kind of a, an earthy pumpkin flavor to it. I like it. Let's try it with some of the biscotti from last episode. Not the easiest thing to spread over something. It's good on the sky. Probably be good on salads, pasta, whatever you want. By itself, even if you want. Next up we have Fall Zucchette Pasta. It's butternut squash flavored pasta, but they're shaped like little pumpkins. They look so cute. It might be better if we cook them. Yeah, I think we'll cook them instead. Ah, uh, yes, cooked pasta. This looks more edible. Usually if we were going to make a pasta, we'd probably add maybe some fresh squash, maybe some chicken. I'll just try this by itself for now. But with their Animal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce. This we actually get as our, our regular pasta sauce and use it year round. It's quite good. Well, it's fairly good. I think, to me, it tastes a lot like a whole wheat pasta, to me. Next up we have pumpkin soup. Hmm, I'm quite curious what this tastes like. I like pumpkin. I don't think I've ever had pumpkin soup before. Let's find out! And now that it's been warmed up, I can give it a try. Mm, yep, smells like pumpkin. Yeah, it's not bad. There isn't any like uh, extra things in it, it's just soup. The best way I would describe it is a can of pumpkin puree with uh, pumpkin spices in it, and then turned into soup form. Typically, I like to eat more than just soup, so we'd probably add in some other ingredients, maybe fresh tomatoes, herbs, maybe some croutons. Oh. Maybe some of these other things we have here. Maybe this cheese would go pretty good with it. Some of these pumpkin cranberry crisps. Yep, that goes well together. Took about no prep work at all. Next up we have Fall Harvest Salsa. It's got a autumnal melange of fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. I think this will go pretty well with their pumpkin tortilla chips. Crafted with simple ingredients including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Let's give it a try. So far I like the smell of this. So pretty fragrant. It smells like, like salsa. This is pretty good. Uh, the tortilla chips have, has a rather uh, subtle flavor. Uh, pumpkin, as well as some cinnamon. And this 
it says it has fruits in it, but it's not really a sweet flavor. It's definitely more uh, spicy salsa kind of thing. It does have a little bit of spice in there. Maybe a tad more than I would like, but it's not bad. I think I'll give it a try with their quinoa chips. Available year long. Or some sort of turkey chips. They're veggie ones because they are like sun-dried tomato, fish. No, also good. I think I'll definitely keep this salsa around and put it on, well, anything that I want salsa on. Now let's try some pumpkin Jojo's. If you've seen a previous video, you've seen that I've tried some of these out before. But I haven't tried pumpkin. Ooh, it's got some orange cream. Oh, no. Yep, pumpkin Jojo's. I like them. <laughs> Next up we have pumpkin butter. I'm really not sure what this will taste like, but since eating this by itself sounds strange, I'm going to eat it with last episode's butter waffle cookies. I like this. This is it's kind of like a um, spiced pumpkin jam sort of. Well, that's kind of what apple butter and pumpkin butter. Yeah, so apple butter is basically just like a really long, slow cooked apple. So yeah, I definitely like this. Probably because it's got a really good sweetness to it. Stephanie said it goes well with cheese, so I'll give that a try. Yep, goes good with that too. A number of these items would go great with the charcuterie board. Looks like I'm gonna have to make a part three for this. So yeah, I'm gonna stop here and try out the rest later. If you love pumpkin, then I would definitely pick up some of these items. Oh my gourd! <laughs> Why did you just do that? Jesse! Hmm. They might be better if we cook them. Pumpkin roll. Maybe. <laughs>